Prowl R, part of the R family. If you guys have not seen, I've done Sonar and Radar. And yes, I'm over enunciated R because it's piratey. <laughs> Before I get too far into this, my cat absolutely agrees with me. You must run any kind of questionable traffic through your, let's say, deluge or radar, anything like that, through a VPN. I have a link to VPN in my description down below. It's the same thing as everywhere else you can find on the internet, but if you wanna support this channel and or you wanna make sure you get a 30 day money back guarantee to make sure it works for you, please use my links in the description down below. Browse safe. Don't get fined, don't get in jail, just, just be safe. VPN. What's up YouTube, Jason here with Jason Bites Back in, and today I wanna to talk about an indexer as a follow-up to my previous videos where I talked about TV shows and movies being obtained through programs on Unraid that are called Radar and Sonar. While this is not technically a necessity to get up and running, it does make things a lot easier. A few little asterisks here. Yes, people have their own preferences. There's other options. Jacket was a big option that I did consider and actually originally used, but then moved to Prowlr mainly because it had an R and also there was some authentication thing for one of the indexers. I'm not gonna go into it, but here we are. Now this is actually relatively simple. You don't have to set up a bunch of downloads or movings or anything like that. You don't have to import movie. It's really simple. And I do wanna say that yes, I installed Prowlr and I did record, or at least I thought I recorded the process of installing, but I cannot find that video file anywhere. So in today's video, I'm going to demonstrate how to install it, but not really install it because it's already installed. So I'm just going to show you the configuration screen, which overall is really not that different. Now, what is an indexer? An indexer is basically going to be pulling from multiple websites, whether that's, uh, you know, news groups or torrents, it's going to pull everything into one. This particular program is going to directly tie in and integrate with programs like sonar, radar, LIDAR, etc., And it's going to allow you to have a centralized area to make configurations to the index sites where you want to download things that will affect every other program program tied in to Prowlr. So diving right into this, let's go into the configuration slash installation screen and starting off by going through Unraid. In Unraid, if you click on the apps on the top of your screen and search for Prowlr, that's P-R-W-L-A-R-R, -R, you should see the Ben Hex Prowlr option to click on. In my particular instance, again, it's already installed so I can just, you know, view it. I can't really install a secondary copy. But if you're doing this for the first time, you should see the option to install and then you can go through and set your, config your con configurations and click apply. Most of the time for most people, everything here does not need to be changed. So just install it and launch the UI. Now from the UI, you're going to be hit with a few different basic options, but the, really the only thing you have to focus on here is going to the indexers. This is where you can go through and you can add the sites that you want Prowlr to automatically index that allows Sonar and Radar to pull their lists from and add downloads, whether it's TV shows or movies or whatever automatically or manually however you decide to do it for demonstration purposes only because this entire video is for educational purposes only for demonstration purposes only i will click on add a new indexer i will browse to just a random thing on the list by the way you can sort this by either usenet or by torrent if you click on that you go there you can look at some of the basic settings most of which are self-explanatory it probably should work right out the gate but just make your settings and click on test if you get a green check mark everything looks good. Now, once you add this, configure it to automatically search and index this new indexer that you added to Prowlr, here's where the magic begins. You have an indexer in Prowlr, now you have to associate the apps that you want to work with it by going to the apps section. So in the settings, go to apps, you can see the options here, you can click the little plus sign and you can choose things like 
LiDAR, radar, sonar, etc. After you add and configure these additional applications, every time you make a change to an indexer, add a new one, delete one, etc. Because it's fully integrated with these other apps, it will add, remove, or modify for each one of the sub apps that you're using. Now, Prowler does offer a bunch of different additional options to go through and explore. Uh, you will need API keys, which you can find. Uh, most of this is self-explanatory that I've already kind of touched base on on the previous videos. Like really, Pr uh, Prowler is very simple to use. It's very easy to configure and it's very easy to integrate into your other apps. The only thing that I'm not going to touch on in this video, and that's really just because I want to make a dedicated video on it, is using the proxy service through the Deluge VPN in order to route your indexer uh, traffic through the Deluge VPN. That way, just in case, even though it's not really a big deal and I personally don't use it that often, just in case, you don't want your ISP to know that you are hitting these websites in order to index what they have available. You can run everything through the VPN service that you originally set up on the Deluge VPN Docker. And Really, that's it. I know it kind of sounds crazy, but you can go through here and you can play with some of the different settings. You can alter it, you can add to it. You can do what you want. But as far as the core functionality, integrating with your other apps, being able to automatically update, automatically add things, and just allowing your server to be self-sufficient without requiring you to manually go through things, Prowler is where it's at. Yes, you technically do not need it. In both radar side, you know, all those, they have the option to individually add indexers, which if you wanna do that, more power to you. The thing I like about Prowler is that it allows you to essentially just have a centralized change, a variable. So that's where Prowler is magical. And I definitely recommend if you're going to go through this automation process, setting up your media server to just kind of handle things automatically in the background, I absolutely recommend something like Prowler. Jacket, yes, is definitely an alternative. Some people prefer it. I was going through this thing where I was trying to get some index and indexers to work and verify and captures and I actually don't really remember the entire thing, but I remember that Prowler got its work for me without any hiccup and Jacket for some reason was just giving me an uphill battle. So guys, if you have any questions, comments, or concern on this, definitely make sure to leave the comments in the section down below. Once again, I highly recommend running all of your downloads through a VPN service. And if you wanna support this channel and you want 30 days to make sure your new VPN service can hit the speeds that you want, use my link in the description down below for NordVPN. Yes, you can get NordVPN discount codes from every single place on the internet, but if you use mine, I will foreverly be grateful, For foreverly be grateful. Hey, yeah, that's how I roll. But if you choose to go out in the wild and do things like this that may or may not be considered legal without a VPN, well, I mean, is that is that like a Darwin thing? I don't know. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe and have yourself a great day.